Hello everybody, it's Suffolk Blue, all the way from merry old England. How the devil are you? I hope you're well. Welcome back to Star Maid. Now, last time if you remember we were doing doors and I was showing off all the bay doors and I've started making... Um, I haven't got anywhere on this yet. V for Variety has taken up so much of my time. You'll see the episode as well, hopefully. Oh, so much steel. Uh, but this one, I made a start on some of those doors. Those, those lights are all plugged in. These ones obviously just shoved in the wall, yet they're not plugged in. But that's not what we're working on today. We've done a lot of building. The problem we have... Let's be honest, the real problem we have is... Uh, and I'm going to take out this one here. That just means that that ship can't move. Well, it can, but it won't move along the line. This ship does not fly very well. Actually, when I say it doesn't fly very well, it flies like a metal pig. Um, it is terrible to fly. So, what I want to do today is look at creating a... Uh, a new ship basically um, we're going to look at looking I want to start creating a bit of a theme for my ships as well that was a one off I needed some materials let's make something quick simple and dirty because I want to do that uh, I wanted to get out there and start doing stuff uh, what have we got in our I can't remember all the different controls um, I haven't got any red paint do I I think I'm going to need cinnabar for red I really want to get some red paint can we paint things afterwards I think we can I'm not too sure, but I would like to get some red and black paint going on if I can. Um, let's get rid of you, 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 you. Uh, basin, you can go there. You can go in here. Um, I don't need flip-flops. Buttons. Uh, no, no. We do need grey hull. And I quite like... Uh, I'm not going to really use that necessarily. Route a couple as we want. Um, engines, power cores. Uh, power capacitor, maybe engines uh, there we are you uh, uh, uh. I think we're only doing a sort of shuttle shape to start with we're getting an idea of shape so actually we can do what I can do probably is build this in grey and then we will look at um, uh, probably I'll do it off camera, but what I'll do is we'll make it in grey, and then I will sort of remake it basically, word for word, but you'll be able to see what I'm going to do anyway. So what I want to do is I'm going to open, wrong side, I'm going to open up the bay doors because I need to be able to fly out the thing and I hadn't realised I'd shut them, so let's do, is that that one? Yeah, flash away, thank you. Um, we can come out of this, lovely. Which ones are opening? These ones. Lovely. So that leaves us outside. That gives us a good space to work in because we want to go outside. Now the theme I want to go for on this is wedge shaped. So when I say wedge, I'm talking um, what sort of ships are wedge. Uh, Star Destroyers would be a wedge shape. Um, A-Wings in Star Wars would be um, uh, Narn ships in the Babylon 5 were sort of a wedge. But I do want to go for a wedge shape because it's sort of, it's, it's a good it's a good shape to have. Um, I don't want, those are the wrong way around. How annoying. If I put a rail on there now, we're going to come inside and dock, which is not really what I wanted to do. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to go for a wedge shape. I don't want... The shuttles don't have to be very big, actually, to start off with. We're, we're going to do some sizes. We're preparing, if you like, for our first battle, which is coming up, I think, next month, is what Digi was saying. So... Oh. No, that's definitely not the right thing. Undo. Oof. Uh, and can I do that? Is that all changed? Yeah! He's not going to be able to go anywhere. Stopped. Thank you. Um, I can come out of this mode. Lovely. So, yeah, we've got a battle coming up um, very, very soon. And because of this, um, I want to just sort of get in a, a ship, uh, get some ship designs in. The first battle we are going to have, I'm led to believe, is going to be a small fighter type craft, which is less than. I think it's less than 150 blocks or something, but they've got certain criteria. I haven't been, I haven't got all the details on that yet, but we've got certain criteria. So the ship we make will be a certain size, it'll have a certain mass, which means it can only have so many guns and all that sort of stuff. And then we'll all get together and try and kill each other. So let's start off with, um, we're going to call this um, the Altair's, um, this is a shuttle, isn't it? Um, oh, I don't know. Shuttle, why not? Just for now. Bump. We are going to get in the, our shuttle. Where's our front? So our front is... that's This is our front here. Okay. Uh, let's turn this roller over to start with. 
I just find it easier when it comes to building. So that's our front. I'm going to put our rail docker. Um, am I going to put it straight on top? Uh, probably. Yeah, I am. I think I probably am. Okay. So, is. I think that means that that would be the front. Apparently that is the front, so that's not right. It's fine. Stop. Don't move. And so, that is the front now, apparently. Yeah! Okay. And then all I need to do is go to T, dock that down. There we go. And as you can see, we're facing the right way, everything's the right shape. And once we get out on the landing pad out here, we'll be in a position to begin to build around it. Obviously, we need to make sure we can go in and out of these doors. Uh, but this is going to be just a test shuttle, if you like. This is, as I say, what we're going to do is remake it then off camera in the right colours. I want to use red and black. Um, I think that's a good colour scheme for this particular faction, the way I'm building them up. Out to the pad. This is what it would look like if we were going to be taking off. How cool. And stop. Uh, where am I underground? Whoosh! And whoosh. Okay. So, decisions, decisions, decisions. So what I want to make, I think... Uh, we're talking wedges, aren't we? Let's go with grey. I'm going to pull this out to the side, and it's only going to be... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these bits, um, 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 yeah, these bits are going to be, boom, oh, which way around does it go, it's going to be, no, nope. that way around, yeah, and then let's do ourselves, like so and then we want I want a little how does that go around? where's that? that's the way and that's the way so what I'm trying to the design I want to try and get across is it's going to have this sort of two... it looks like a spanner. <laughs> it's going to have this sort of two um, wing type affairs going on. And then we can close it off. Yeah, and then on this side, because what we could do... Oh, no, not that bit. What we can do is we would be able to replace some of these maybe with weapons, you see. So this is the lower fuselage part. Oops, completely got that wrong. And then we got a bit, a little bit on top. Now the engines. Okay, if I did one, two, three, four, five, six. That's correct. And then in the middle here, one. Oh, uh, undo. One, two, three. I'm going to go out again with another engine here and here. So these are quite powerful. This is now turning into more of a fighter. <laughs> because I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, we could probably do a lot. We could probably do with a good little fight a bit here. I'm going to take this back hull and make that vanish by doing that. I then want to bring in... Have I used up all of those? I have used up all of those. Uh, can we get over... Can I use... I don't know if I can use it from here. I cannot. That's fine. Stay on the pad. Don't move. Yeah. 
So this is going to be. I want this to be a. Oops. A fa oh goodness gracious! What's going on? I want this to be a fast little ship. It's going to be a really small little personal individual craft. This is not a shuttle, though. <laughs> Now looking at this, this is not a shuttle because there's nowhere to sit inside. It's not like you can take up any guests with you. It's just going to be a one-person type jobby. Let's come over here. We're going to change production, put those into uh, grey hull, grey hull, grey hull, grey hull wedges. Okay. Uh, let's take two thousand of those, just for sake. Activate. Ta. We don't need. I don't know how many of these we're going to need, but we'll just take a few of these over and across. So. This is what we'll do is we'll just build the sort of framework. We'll see how it performs, types of speed it can get out of it, and then we'll sort of work on the general design. But you can see the shape that I want. I want that sort of um, uh, spanner head. Can I call it a spanner head? Um, let's take that, split up, come here. 30, tap. We'll let that run because I'm going to need plenty of wedges anyway. But it is very small, look. It's tiny. Definitely an individual personal carrier at this stage. And we, c we haven't got any shields on it either yet, or anything like that. So this is a really lightweight type of type of job. And we could probably, um, if we go in here, zoom across, we can probably take these bits and put them facing upwards like that gear and then I wonder if I take um, just like that Oops. Now we've got to build a little place, haven't we? Have to build a little place. We we'll probably want some glassware in here. Something like that. And then um, I could either use the mesh. How much power are we going to have? Probably not an enormous amount. We could either use power capacitors. What's the power on this? Uh, power is. 351 per second at 63,000. If I was to do 1, 2, 3, 526, it doesn't double it because it's the wrong sort of shape. Like that. 476. If I do that, that, and that. I sort of want to bring these wings back further. I want to bring these wings back, so I'm going to go. If I go from here, better. I already like it. I like it more than that. Okay, let's go there, 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 and there. And there. Now, because we've got. What we could really do with, I suppose, is maybe we uh, we definitely will do this off the edge, and then what I could do is put in something like that. How does that look from above? What's the what's the profile? That's not bad. That's not bad. Two engines up there. And I want you to imagine that we could run. Um, we don't have a lot of. We need some glass now to sort of encapsulate around the. So you've got a seat. Because at the moment he doesn't really have a seat. Unless we're going to sit in front of this. We take that off. Let's go and get some. Oh, let's not do it that way. Let's go and get some glass. I'm sure, I've got some somewhere. Because it might be that we have to either have... I don't know how much engines we've got there. We've got quite a few engines. We can do a little test fly in a second, I think. Wow, I don't know why that always makes me spin around. Uh, we can do a little test fly and see 
what, how that's going to behave. But its profile is slightly wider now, and I quite like that. Let's get some glass. Any glass in here? We do. Have we got any wedges? I'm going to need some. No. Uh, deactivate, thanks. Change production, glass wedges. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. wedge. Okay. Up. Activate. Uh, we need to make sure we're not got any pirates in the area before I do a test flight because they will just kill us alive. They just they are such a if you get in the wrong time, they've got really good shots. They're not they're not I mean I know Digi said the AI is a bit dim, which is fair enough. I've not actually got close enough to any of them yet to work out their sort of AI, but their shot the, their ability to shoot you from distance Oh, they've got that down pat, don't worry about that. That'll do. Deactivate. Right. Let us go back and put in a capsule of sorts. Do I only want two engines? Maybe I want two engines down here. Would that be too many engines, do we think? Will it be able to get off the ground? That's the question. Hmm. Here we go. What if... There's only one engine, only um, one space there for that, isn't there? What if we met this around the back and yeah? So now it's a three engine. It's thrust like max speed doesn't say mass to ma mass 12 ratio to mass 2.5. Quite powerful engines, I'd have thought in here now. Got more engines than the, sh the, the other shuttle on a 3 1. Okay, so we want to have a little got to have the ability to sit. I think if I take you out. I wonder, can I put in oops, no. I put in something like that's better, and then I need to do glass, glass. Always so difficult to see glass, glass, glass. Oh, what if I should put glass doors on? Do you know what I mean? So that actually you could open and close that almost. Because the moment you've got absolutely nowhere to sit, you'd have to take oops, you'd take that oops, take that one off. And I could probably put something like this is the sort of chair cockpit. Something like that. So that's be where you would be sitting. The trouble is obviously there's nothing really in front of you at this stage. Okay, let's take that one out and that one out. Let's do that and that, and then I can put in. See, that's where we'd want a console of some description, you know. Probably a camera, actually, is the truth to be known. But we we'll put that there for now. So this is where you'd sit. If this was all glass door, we'd be able to retract. I haven't made a glass door yet, so we'll have to wait for that. Um, and then this is going to go up from here, isn't it? to go up from there to there yeah to there oh glass is hard to see <laughs> there and there Probably do with a so 
So there is a there's a there's a seat in here. Not much of one mind, but there is one. So let's do. Bearing in mind this would be a plexi, plexi type glass. Well, that front's not too bad actually. I'm 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 reasonably okay with that front. Shall we see if we can get it to fly? Oh, I went out of the damn thing. I didn't want to do that at all. Now I can't get in the damn thing because of the. Take that off. Uh, we'll leave that open for now, just while we're testing. And let's do that. Well, this is the view inside, which actually is good because you don't need a camera. That is pretty good. So if I do uh, that, oh, it goes up in the air easy enough. I'll tell you what, this has got some engines. 200. 300. Holy mother of... Look at the speed! This is like a some sort of... St oh, if we could put a cloaker on this. That's the plan. Let's see how fast we can do the... Let's buzz the planet. See how fast we can go through the planet. So this is going to be our... slows down pretty quick as well actually oh this would be good if it's got some this is going to be a really good fighter actually then catch me if you can and slow down let's look at its profile from outside from above So, this has definitely got potential as far as speed is concerned. It's very, very small. Difficult to hit, I think. The question is, is how much energy or power can we put in this thing? Bearing in mind it's got an engine that runs all the way through here. I should probably put a bit more of a nose. Perhaps I should elongate this a little bit. Hmm, okay. Let's have a look at this. I like th I like the actual capsule that he's sitting in. I like that a lot. I'm going to take you off and you off. And then I'm going to cap you at the end. There. There. And I feel like this needs to come out a little bit. So I feel like it should go Ooh, there's a shape. There's a shape. Do I like that shape? Because I could nub it like that. Yeah. Okay, let's nub on this end as well. How many blocks are we on? 86 blocks. Loads of room for weaponry on here. Whoops. Whether or not it's going to have the power to do anything with them is the question. I like that. It's quite a good shape to it. It's got a good shape to it. Now I wonder if I... Let's fan this down the sides. Um, 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 I could put a, um, a half wedge in these bits and I probably will. Just to curve them round. So from the below, what can you see? Oh, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. Should this come out a bit more, though? Probably. Yes, probably like a bomb. Bomb. 
Oh, no, whoops. Then I will bring these out a bit more. look. It's not a bad look. Oh, I wonder how that's affected its nose. Yeah, the sights, but the sight isn't too bad actually. I see the, f the speeds and stuff. Still gets a slightly slower thrust ratio of getting there. Right, we've got no shields on this. We've got no weaponry. Shall we put some on? Let's have a little Let's buzz the tower, let's see how easy it is to land and whether we can get it on the... Yeah. Here we go, we're coming in. Oh, straight off into space again. It, they are difficult, they are, it is quite difficult to be able to see where your nose is pointing. There's what I was looking for. Stop! Stop. So we're going to come in to land. Oh, easy. Boom, straight down. Um, let's get out of this. Okay, do I make this longer? This I might. Let's go in here quickly. Uh, let's go to here. What I'm thinking is whether I need, whether I can make the, oops, the cockpit longer along this edge. So I would go. I'm gonna have to make this out of plexiglass anyway, because I wanted a glass door, because I wanted to be able to open and close. So that's right. That's correct. So is that. As is that. And then we'll be able to run. Grey Hole can go there. Think about the weaponry as well, right? Just just for a second, whilst I sort of work out what I'm going to do with this, because if I do that and then I do what do we think? Ugly as hell? Well, it's not ugly actually. Not as ugly as I feared that was going to look. Okay, and then what I'm thinking actually, what we'll end up doing is these bits uh, here. Boom, 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 can be um, weapons. So we were going to build a shuttle. We've now built a little sort of light fighter. Is what we've built. Um, let's go and let's just test out that again. The going up bit is amazing. I mean, you go up like a rocket. Boom. Well, you are a rocket, I suppose. Boom. It's like hello. <laughs> Because the other one couldn't take off. This, if you notice the difference, it, I mean, it has no engine. Perhaps I need to put my engines on that one. I don't know. But this one has got. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. It's very maneuverable. Then we can stop. Let's do a quick spin around. How far we've come? That's ridiculous. Yeah, 
definitely going to keep this design. I like the visibility that I don't have to have a camera on it. I can just sit in the actual thing and it looks like you're in a cockpit. That looks really cool. Now how is it possible that my dome is missing? Do you know what I mean? I don't know how difficult it can be to spot a dome, but every time I approach this planet, I always approach the only sides where there is no dome. I mean, it's a huge dome. It's a whole... Si there it is. Goodness. Every time. So what we would do... Let's come in for a landing. Boom. I can get out and do that. And then we can go and put it away. So, that's our starting design, for, as I say, for our fighters, for our wedges. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So it's really quick, just to build something ready for February that we can work on off-camera. And I can show you the different designs and where it works. Let's bring it into the hold. As it comes wheeling in. And the thing of this, I can see this on like a larger carrier, like hooked. You know where they sort of drop out like drop ships. In it comes. We can close the main doors, I suppose. Now that I'm not going to take it outside anymore. And then what I'll do is I'll work one up in black and red, I think, which will make it look cool. Grey is just easier for you to see the design, I think, more than anything. But we do need to get some passenger ships and um, normal shuttles in as well. There she is, little strike fighter that she is. Fabulous! I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please leave a like. It will mean the world to me. Am I going to crash into my other ship? I think I probably am. Don't think I've got the clearance. In fact, I don't have the clearance. Watch this. Ooh, parking. Oh, we are touching, so we have crashed those two together. That'll be fine. If you have enjoyed this, please leave a like. Uh, next time when we come back, a little bit more inside the base, I think. I'll also show you the update of the ship that I've done when I've done it in red and black. And maybe I've probably made a few modifications. You know what I'm like, I always do. Uh, leave a like, any comments down below as well. Thank you so much for the support on this series. It's been great to get the number of views. Um, and I got quite a few extra subs out of this as well. So we're on 133 at the moment, I think, is where my subs are standing at, which is astonishing. And I thank every single one of you for being a subscriber. Do check out all the other people playing Star Made on this server. But from me, Suffolk Blue, until next time, you take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon.